Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the course on scientific computing using MATLAB. So in the previous lecture, we have completed that uh, linear spline and cubic spline. So today we will continue with the curve fitting. So today we will start with the curve fitting. So now suppose I have the data and this data is distributed in the given domain like this one. So suppose this is my x0, y0, x1, y1, x2, y2 and this is in the end I have x, n, y, n this is x k y k and so on. So, in this case that I know that if I pass any polynomial passing through all these points then it is called the interpolating polynomial that we have dis already discussed. Then we have discussed that if I want to approximate this with the piecewise polynomial then we have the splines function. So, we have discussed linear splines and cubic spline. Now the next thing is that suppose I want that my curve, what I want that our approximating, approximating curve need not be passing through the data points. So, that is our condition that in the previous one all the polynomials approximating polynomial was passing through the points, but in this case need not be passing through the points. So, maybe I will take I will start with the linear uh, function. So, suppose I take a line like this one and this line is in this case it is not passing through any of the point because the points are distributed like this one and I want to approximate this with a line and this is my line. So, I call it y is equal to suppose a x plus b. So, in this case our function or the approximating polynomial or approximating curve that is not passing through any of this point. So, so in this case how we can find this one? So, I will start with this one. So, the first one I will start so, the method for finding this is the least square method. So, in the least square method I start with the k first one that is the linear approximation. So, what is the meaning of linear approximation? So, in this case let us I start with this one. So, these are my points and this is the line I am passing uh, the that line I have want to approximate. Now, what I do? Now, these are the points that is already given to me. This is x k this is I suppose I call it x k minus 1 y k minus 1 and so on. Now, what I want to find? I will try to find the error between these. So, suppose at this point or at this point or at this point the value of y naught is this one and the line I am going to approximate. So, based on this one the value of y is this one. So, this is my y naught value that is the exact value that has been given to me and this is the value if I put the x naught in the given linear equation that is the equation of a line then I get this value. So, the difference between this is I call it E 1. So, that is the error between these two values. Now, the same way I will do for x 1. So, I call it E 2 then I will E 3 this way I will have E 4, E 5, and in the this is my suppose E 
jth anyone and in the last suppose this is my e n. So, that I call it the e i is equal to the value. So, this is the y I am going and this is also small y. So, let us uh, represent this one with the this line I will represent by capital Y A x plus B. So, this one. Now, E i is y i minus given value y i. So, this is I am finding. So, based on this one my E 1 is y 1 minus small y 1, my E 2 is y 2 minus y 2 and so on. So, this difference I find. Now, suppose I add all these values. So, suppose I add i from 0 to n years. So, in this case it may happen that some e i s are positive and some e i s are negative. So, if I take the sum of this one it may come equal to 0. So, if it comes equal to 0, so it may if it comes equal to 0, then I say that the I will say that the error is 0, but in reality the error is not equal to 0. So, that is why I cannot directly add these errors and then I will take the total error. So, this is not possible, uh, this is not permissible. So, in this case what I will do that I will take the help of least square method. So, in the least square method what I do that it shows that first I will take the square. So, what I do is there I will take the error e i doing the square of this one adding all these errors and then taking the square root. So, it is a least root mean square error. So, I am taking the root mean square. So, I am taking the square then mean and the root. So, this call it as e. So, that is my error I am taking. Now, in this case what is happening? What is my e i? e i is y i minus small y i. So, I am doing the square of that and then I am taking the root of this one. So, this is called root mean square error. So, this is basically a, the norm I am defining. So, I am taking this one. Now, if I substitute this value. So, from here I can call it as e square y i minus y i square i is moving from 0 to n. Now, I am taking just the square of both side. Now, I know that if E is minimum or maximum then E square is also minimum or maximum. Okay. So, instead of under root I just take these terms and then try to find out. So, this is my E square. So, let us call it the error. So, I will call it error. So, just the square of E square I am calling error. Now, from here I can write that this error can be written as summation i from 0 to n and this capital Y is A x i minus plus B. So, that is equal to B minus y i whole square. Now, this is a function. So, I know that I want that 
we want so i call it maybe this is i call it 1 and this i call it 2 so from here i can say that we want that our error should be minimum for best approximation because this is the line passing through this is the line so i want that all errors terms should be very very small so that this line pass through all the points if this line pass through all the point then that is the best approximation we can have for the given data so our con our main concern is that how we can make this error minimum of all so this is the our requirement now from the math, uh, from the mathematically point of view we know that how this is a function so i call it this function as i should call it maybe this one as e so i write that e as a function of a and b so i call it e small e right so in this case or maybe with the main i can call this as a e this as e square and let us call it e capital E. Now, it is a function of two variable a and b that we need to find out to find out the equation of a line. So, from here I can say that if we want to find out the minimum of this one, then I take the partial derivative of this to find out the critical point. So, from here if I take the partial derivative with respect to a, then it should be equal to 0 and e a b with respect to b that should be equal to 0. So, to find the critical point we take the partial derivative equal to 0. So, from here now I want to take the derivative of this one. So, let us take del e of a b del a. So, this will be summation i from 0 to n to a x i plus b minus y i into the derivative of a that is x i. So, this is multiplied by x i. <coughs> now, from here I can write then this it becomes del e a b with respect to del a. So, from here I can write this as summation i from 0 to n to then I can multiply this by the, with the x. So, it becomes a x i square plus b x i minus y i x i. So, I got so this is the value I am finding from this one. Now, this is equal to 0 at the point where the we are going to have a minima or maxima. So, from here I can say that this is equal to the summation is equal to 0. So, then from here I can write this i from 0 to n. So, 2 I can ignore. So, from here I will get a x i square plus b x i and this quantity is known to us. So, I can take this one on the right hand side. So, it will be from i from 0 to n x i y i. From here I will get I will take this summation inside. So, it will be a x i square plus summation b. So, this a I can write here. A 
a x square plus b x i is equal to summation i from 0 to n x i y i. So, I call it the equation number 3. Similarly, del E a b with respect to b, so that becomes equal to taking the derivative with respect to b. So, x i will not come here. So, it will be same as summation a x i plus b. So, this is I am taking the derivative minus y i and this is 2 times i from 0 to n. So, this is we have taken and I want that this should be equal to 0. So, from here I can say that summation. So, this is a i from 0 to n x i plus summation b i from i from 0 to n and this one I have take on the right hand side. So, that is equal to i from 0 to n y i. So, that is the equation number 4, not 2, it is 4. So, now we have a system. So, now on solving the system of equations, so this is equations 3 and 4, we can find the value of a and b. So, once I know the value of a and b, from here I can find the value of this linear function, this line and that will be my best approximation of the curve fitting passing through these points. So, that is the way we can define the, the equation of a line. So, let us do that how we can find the minimum value. So, let us do one example. So, whatever the equation I am getting, the equation 3 and 4. So, I can write from here also. Equations 3 and 4 are called normal equations. So, these are called the normal equation. So, using this normal equation I can find the value of a and b and then we can find the equation of the line. So, let us do one example. So, in this case I have the data. So, let us my x i is given to me and y i is given to me. So, it is minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. <coughs> y i is given to me that is 10, 9, 7, 5, 4, 3, 0, minus 1. Now, if you see from here that if I want to solve the system, then what I needed? I need the the value, the square of this x i is multiplication of x i is and y i is and that is it. So, this is the summation of x i is, this is the summation of y i is. So, that always we needed. So, in this case, now I take x i square here. So, it will be 1, 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36 and x i into y i. So, I multiply this one. So, it will be minus 10, it will be 0, 7, 10, 12, 12, 0, minus 6. And I need the sum also. So, from here I can find the summation. So, from here I can find the summation x i. So, x i is coming <coughs> 
15, 20, 21, 20. This is x y i's. So, y i is coming 37 summation x i square that is coming 92 and summation x i y i that is coming 25. So, this value is now we have calculated now from the normal equation. So, from normal equations. So, normal equation is this. So, first I will write A and summation of x i is, is 20. So, I write 20 A plus this is B and then multiply B is a common value is a constant. So, summation n is the n values. So, that is n because I know that summation i from 0 to n b that is equal to n b. So, whatever the value. So, in this case it is n plus 1. So, I can call it n plus 1 b. So, whatever the total number of values the data points are there. So, that will be we have to take. So, in this case I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, this is 8 b is equal to on the right hand side I have the summation of y i's. So, this is 37. So, this is the first equation I got. The second equation is a x i square. So, x i square is 92. So, it is 92 a plus here also b x i's. So, x i is 20. So, it is 20 b and then on the right hand side I will get 25. So, this is the system of equation I am going to get and if I solve this system as with the help of the methods we have already done, but it is a simple 2 by 2 system. So, I can solve it with the help of any method. So, if I find the solution of this one, so I get the value of A is minus 1.6 seven one and b i got eight point six four two eight five so this is the value of a and b i am getting and now once i know the value then the best line fit to the data is minus 1.6071 x plus 8.64285. So, this is the equation of the line and that is my answer of this one. So, based on this one I am able to fit a, so I, can, I will call that I am able to fit a line for the given data and this is the best fit we can have. So, this is the way we can find out the linear fit for this one. Now, the second one is what about the other function? So, based on this one, so this is the linear fit we have taken. Now, we will want to define the polynomial fit. So, polynomial fit that I have a polynomial, suppose I take the polynomial as y, the capital Y. So, this I call it maybe a 0 plus a 1 x plus a 2 x square up to a n x n. So, this is the nth degree. polynomial polynomial fit to the data. Now, in this case I need n plus 1 number of equation to find out the value of a 0, a 1, a 2 up to a n. So, I can I will tell you that how we can write the normal equation directly. So, 
using the method of least square we can find we can write we can write the system of we can write the normal equations as so what i do that first i have the value of y so i will write down y is equal to a naught plus a 1 x plus a 2 x square a n x n. So, this value is given to me. Now, I take the summation both side. So, once I have the summation I will write a a 0 plus a 1 summation x plus a 2 summation x square and a n summation x n. So, I, will, I write this one. So, this is equal to summation y and I will take as the i th value because I have taken the summation. So, I am taking the summation for the complete data the whatever the data I have and in this case I have my x i and y i that is given to me and I can be from 0 to n or maybe I can write a 1, 2, 3 up to n small n. So, n number of points. So, from here I will get this value. So, this will by I can write this as a equation number 1. Now, what I do doing this one? Now, I will use this equation again. So, first I will write this as V. I multiply. So, this is the equation. I write the summation of this one. I get the first equation. Now, multiply equation. So, I call it 1 and I call it 2. Multiply equation 1 by x and take summation. So, if I take the summation, I will get y i x i summation that is equal to a 0 summation x i plus a 1 summation x i square plus a 2 summation x i cube and so on and in the end I will get a n. So, this is a small n a n okay. this is also a n. So, this is a n and this is will be x n plus 1. So, that I will call it the equation number 3. So, similarly we can multiply again by x i and writing the another equation. So, I from here I can go and the end I will get. So, the first equation I got just taking the summation, second one I got from multiply by x. So, I need total n number of equations to find out. So, I have a 0, a 1, a 2 up to a n. So, total number of coefficient is n plus 1. So, in the end I will get y i and multiply. So, if I take the 1 multiplication, I am getting 2 equations. So, if I multiply by x n, so I am getting a 0 summation x i power n plus a 1 summation x i n plus 2 a 2 summation x i n plus 3 and in the end I will get summation x i. So, it is n into n. So, it will be 2 n. So, then equation is. So, this way we can write down 
So, this is I call it 4. So, based on this one I get total n equation this one and this is the one more equation. So, we have now we have n plus 1 equations which gives me the values of a 0, a 1, a 2 and to a n to, to find the corresponding polynomial fit. So, this is uh, all about today, I will stop here. So, today we have started with the, the curve fitting and then we discussed that for a given data how we can fit a linear function and also we have discussed that how a curve fitting polynomial fit can be done. So, we will continue in this with this in the next lecture and we also try to make some MATLAB codes. So, thanks for watching this, uh, thanks very much. 